Well, that sort of leads to the other weirdness that I was kind of thinking about when I was when I read your book and kind of thinking about pensions and kind of having just had Adam Dombey on and his yeah. he has like two one or one and a half chapters really on pension fraud in the Confederacy and it was right. like in North Carolina it was like did you serve yes here right the pension and it's like there was no inquiry I mean you had people that were unionists getting pensions you had people yeah. that barely served getting pensions so the pension right. fraud was outrageously large but what he says is it it's ideology it's we yeah. give you money because that way we can kind of keep this lost cause alive yeah and kind of keep the confederate victory perception alive yeah and it feels like that the winning side of this conflict never really connected the ideology of victory with kind of how do we help Support. the veterans of this war? yeah yeah it, Adam and I have had this conversation I because I, I make the argument that they're, um, that, well, and it's not even my argument, honestly, it's, it's, it's a, you know, Theta Scotch poll originally made this argument mm -hmm. that there really was not very much pension fraud in the, yeah. the, the federal pension system. There, it was a very, very small percentage. I can't remember the exact number off the top to of my do. head. Yeah, it's, it is tough to do, right? Because they have such exacting standards. Yeah. Um, and of course, Adam is talking about how there's, it's rampant, right? This pension fraud in, in the South. Um, and so, so we've had conversations about like, we really should write something about this weirdness, yeah. right? We're, we're kind of arguing against each other, but in completely different ways, right? Because we're yeah. talking about completely different systems and regions and everything. Um, but I think it's fascinating that there was so much fraud mm -hmm. in the South and, and according to, you know, the analysis that folks like Stata Scotchpole have done, such little fraud in the federal system. Um, and I, what I found was that there was a lot of conversation about fraud. There was a lot of paranoia about fraud. Very similar to how today there's a lot of talk about, say, you know, um, welfare fraud, right? Mm -hmm. Or food stamp fraud. I was thinking ballot fraud. <laughs> Mail ballot fraud, right like now, voting right. fraud, whatever it is, yeah. right? Where the evidence shows that there actually is very little fraud. Yeah. And when there is things like Medicaid or Medicare fraud, it's mostly being committed by the doctors, mm -hmm. right? Um, but the outsized conversation about right. fraud in the pension system really shows sort of how uncomfortable the federal mm -hmm. government is with the idea of creating this quote unquote dependent class of men, right. right? And so what I write about a lot is this kind of attempt to solve this problem rhetorically mm -hmm. by separating out veterans into all of these different categories. Yeah. And that yes, some of them, as you mentioned, kind of using pensions to prop up the ideology, right? Some of them are the true victors of union. Some of them mm -hmm. are the best that our country had to offer, but a lot of them are mercenaries who just, all they wanted was the three square meals and the paycheck. The good guys, they would have fought even if we didn't pay them, right? This is the kind of fiction that they create after the war. Um, a lot of them are malingerers. They're just trying to bilk the government for money. Um, a lot of them are deserters. There's this idea that tons of deserters are getting pensions. And I'm sure some snuck through, but again, the amount of paperwork that these guys had to file Mm -hmm. in order to prove that they were eligible yeah. that if there was even a whiff of desertion they were like bye yeah. see ya yeah you know, like they just kicked their their they just rejected their paperwork completely um it's to the i mean the difficulty of it is to the point where for soldiers who have very obvious injuries mm -hmm. even then there's debate over well but how impactful is that disability on your daily life mm -hmm. right um, so it's very interesting to me that the, the federal system is so focused on kind of gatekeeping and mm -hmm. the Southern is so focused on, please let us give you money so that we can show how much we revere our veterans, right? There's something very interesting there. And I would, I, I really hope that Adam and I do make something out of it because I want to, I want to take this beef further. <laughs> Well, I will bug him at every conference I see him from now yes. on on that. Like, you two work on that. 